needed to take a breather. I just needed to take a breather, step in and talk to you guys. So uh, you read the title and um, I have told you all uh, that my dad was gonna be getting a biopsy on his prostate. Well, of course he had that done and a lot of you were asking me, you know, like about my dad, how it went, how was the test results and things like that. And so I wanted to do this video and share what we found out as we got the results. So first of all, let's just talk about how long they make you wait. They make you wait forever in a day. Like, do you know what forever in a day is? You know, you, they made him wait. He said from 10 to 13 days that he would have his results back. I said, dad, have you got your results back yet? He said, no, I ain't get them back. You know, um, he said, they said 10 to 13 days. And then, so let's just talk about how I have been pretty. Y'all, I don't know why I'm so, I don't know why I'm so close to the camera right now. Like the camera's so close to my face, but I don't really care. <laughs> what the heck? Why is the camera so close? But let's talk about how I have been praying on my knees until they were red for my dad. And I have all the faith in the world. I do. Um, and I know that I can trust that God hears my prayers. And I know that God answers prayers. I'm always going to pray no matter what the situation is. No, I don't care what the situation is. I'm going to pray. And I'm going to have the faith and just believe that things will work itself out. So my dad calls me and he says that he got his results back. And the results were negative no cancer cells uh, y'all i praise god so much i'm so grateful i'm so grateful <laughs> like if i cry during this right now it's it's happy tears i am so grateful i am so grateful for our good lord jesus for just letting things be okay with my dad. I'm super happy. So my dad says, he. I told y'all he calls me Nina. He said, Nina, I could have did a backflip in a bed. <laughs> right, he did. He said, I could have did a backflip. And I thought, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I said, how you feel, dad? And he says, I feel great. I said, how you feel right now at this moment? He said, great. I'm super happy. And I said, Dad, how about the anticipation anticipation of just waiting on the results? I said, why did it make you wait so long, right? Um, and so he said, I know. He said, I'm super relieved and he feels good. So I'm so grateful. I knew I had to do this video because every time I go live or in the comment section, everybody's asking about my dad. How's your dad, Gina? How's your dad? How's your dad? How's he doing? You know, boom, boom, boom. So now you know. So now you know. But um, I'm just super grateful. And I'm going to keep on praying with every situation that ever arises. I'm going to always pray. I'm going to always pray. I just want to say in front of everybody, in front of the world, thank you, Lord Jesus, that my dad will be okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus, once again. I'm not kidding. So uh, maybe we can lighten things up a little bit. So um, 
I was telling my husband uh, that the results came back and my dad's test results said negative, like no cancerous cells or anything. My husband was super happy. He was like rejoicing with me, right? It was great. And so somehow me and my husband got to talking about uh, a situation that happened. So this was years ago. How many years ago could this have been? Let's just put it this way. Dakota is 15 right now. Dakota was about six years old. And our middle son decided my dad is in this story so i'll just tell you guys a funny story just to kind of lighten things up you know i uh, our middle son decides that he wants to race his dad my husband and my husband said are you kid you want to race me you want to race me Right, that's my that's my husband's doing. Like, I my child is challenging me. You want to race me, right? And so our son's like, yeah, are you kidding me? Let's go. So they went in the middle of the street. <laughs> Thank God that there were like no cars. <laughs> there were like no cars that day on the street. My dad was over to the house. My dad was over to the house. He was there, just visiting or whatever he was doing. He was there, and we were outside. And our son was ready. He was stretching. He was doing his thing. He was getting ready because he was going to race his dad in the street. And he was saying that he was going to beat him in the race. And my husband's like, come on, this is like no sweat. Okay, watch me work. That's what my husband was doing. Okay, my dad was there and he was just standing there. Okay, because he was going to watch the race, I, I'm assuming. So, I... I had my phone. I had my phone for one second. I didn't think about recording this. I, I, I like, I, I don't know. I didn't think about recording this. And then that long ago, we didn't record everything like we do today. So I say, on your mark. Or is it on your mark or on your mark? On your mark. Get set. This is me. I'm standing in the grass. Go. Right? So, now, as I'm saying on your mark is set, I didn't even realize that my dad was in the line. <laughs> Yo, my dad done jumped in the line of the race. My dad done jumped in the line of the race with my husband and our middle son. So, it was like my husband, our son, and my dad. You know how you do on your mark? You, you know, and then you go get set, you get down, and then go, right? And then boom, 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 everybody's running. My dad decided he wanted to race too. I'm assuming just out of the blue, I don't know where this came from. When I said go, I, I don't know what happened. When I said go, our son took off like lightning. Boom, he was gone in the wind. My husband... And my dad, like, I don't know what happened to them. They both took two, three, maybe five steps at the most. And they both fell face first. I don't know what happened. I was like, I was torn between the two. And then I was really wondering, like, how did my dad get in this? Right? Don't you know, my husband fell. And then he did like a roll in the street. like a roll in the street right like a sideways roll like this right so if you're you know to turn over to get up i'm looking at him and i'm speechless i can't believe he just fell when my husband fell my dad fell they did they didn't intertwine with each other because they was far apart from each other you know our son was in the middle he took off my husband fell i look over my dad done fell and then he do like an evil knievel flip he did an evil Knievel flip like a you know like a somersault into the yard. And I'm thinking, what is happening? I was so I was so overwhelmed. <laughs> I was so overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. 
I didn't know who to grab first. <laughs> I didn't know who to help up. But my so my dad, I don't know. I don't know. When he fell, he, he just did a somersault right into the yard. And I was like, whoa. And I looked at my husband and I see his, <laughs> his elbow was skinned up his knee. And I'm thinking, what is happening? And so in the meantime, our son is at like the end of the street tomorrow. Yeah, I told you. And I'm thinking, this is completely nuts. And my dad, if you know my dad, he's like always prepared for like everything and anything that could ever happen. My dad finally gets up off the ground and he said, yeah, <laughs> he say, <laughs> he said, yeah, I got to go get in the trunk. He said, he said, I got a shirt I can change and let me change my shirt. He had a shirt, like a clean shirt. <laughs> I was like, he had this shirt like for this day. He had like an extra clean shirt in the trunk but i don't know how me and my husband got to talking about that and it really uh it made me smile to think about how super funny it was um uh but me and my husband we was we kind of giggling about that and i told my husband i said i can't believe we just thought about that so uh I, it's great to you know kind of like i said just, just to lighten up things. But in the meantime, I'm so blessed to have one of the best dads in the world. Do you hear me? Like my dad is and was, is and was when I was younger, the best dad ever. And so I'm super grateful and I just couldn't contain myself uh, with the overwhelming tears after he told me, I told my dad, I said, you made my day. I said, you made my day by telling me this. He said, they made, he said, I told them they made my day. <laughs> I said, that's, that's great. So anybody that has asked, um, you know, about my dad, how he's doing, wondering everything, he's doing just fine. And he's super happy right now. So I love you guys. Um, and basically, that's it. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Good night. Good night.